When you see the Republican Party, do you like what you see? I have my own definition of what I think we should be doing. Your line, though, when you go have the conversation with St. Peter, yeah. he's not going to ask you what you did to shrink government, but he's he is going to ask you what you did to help the poor. That stands out in your party. When I look at the Old and the New Testament, there's one thing that is clear in there. It does depend on how we help people who are downtrodden, mm -hmm. down on their luck. Well, let's talk about one specific in relation to this St. Peter thing that you said, and that's what you did on Medicaid. Uh, people look at this and say, hey, he's implementing Obama's Medicaid program. There is no money in Washington. It's money we send from our state of Ohio to Washington that I was able to bring back to help the mentally ill get on their feet. 80% of the people in our prisons in Ohio have some sort of substance abuse. As we treat the drug addicted in our prisons, when they come out, the recidivism rate is 10%. Look, there are more and more uh, Republican governors who are getting their toes in the water and some of mm -hmm. them sneaking into the water yeah. to do exactly what we're doing here. So I just was an early mover. But the fact is, is that overall, we have a healthier society. We've been able to reform and manage our costs just about as and well as anybody. And you think you can but defend that position when Scott Walker in a John, debate I, I'm or not, Ted I'm, Cruz yeah. or somebody else? I'm not else. worried about defending anything. This mm -hmm. is what I'm for. A bunch of your colleagues have as you have, embraced the Common Core educational standards, but now that some of them are in the race for president, they've flipped and they have disavowed those. Well, I can't tell you why they've done what they've done, but what I can tell you here is that we, we did not have the kind of high standards that I thought we needed in mm -hmm. Ohio. We are driving high standards, and then the curriculum to achieve those high standards is being driven by local school boards mm -hmm. with parental advisory. And you're not backing off that? No, I'm not backing off. Why would I back off high standards and local control? I, I, what else would I be for? On a national basis, which party do you think right now has more of a reputation as a problem-solving party? I would say that Republicans have just got control, and they're beginning to move some things forward. The reason I asked was I, I mean, thought look, look, one look, of the look, points look. you were trying to make was that you wanted it to change. I've seen you uh, say, you know, the party's my vehicle, it's not yeah. my master. And right, that's why said, these questions said, are sort I of... want to have an opportunity to define what conservatism mm -hmm. is. You know, sometimes people say, well, you know, Kasich's not a conservative, okay? <laughs> well, the balanced budgets, cut taxes by more than anybody in the country, have a history of doing that. But yet, you know, I also think that we have to reach out to people who live in mm -hmm. the shadows. Sometimes mm -hmm. I don't know that I don't know that everybody gets it. Change is difficult, it always is. But I think the most exhilarating part of life is the ability to have a vision for change and then carry it out and let the chips fall where they may. Governor, thanks for talking. I enjoyed, it's fun. Enjoyed being with you. Thank you, it was very good. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.